because through the eyes of compassion, you see everyone healed. Beauty heals me every moment of my life. It heals me the moment I wake up and I take a breath. Beauty heals me when I look outside and see nature in the morning through my window. Beauty is when I can see the sun and the moon. Beauty heals me literally in every moment of my life, all the time. But I think that one moment where I can really remember beauty healing me was when I was 11 or 12 years old and I saw the Yves Klon exhibit of his blues series, um, the Anthropotomy series of women's bodies that he painted. And I saw that exhibit and the beauty in using the human form as a paintbrush um, and the beauty of color and the beauty of connecting spirituality to that um, was really powerful for me and penetrated myself because in that time of my life, I had a lot of fears and a lot of inner turmoil going on um, around beauty and around the human form and um, around femininity and many other things. So Yves Klein, his work evoked fear inside of me and also confusion and pain, but at the same time, it permitted me to see beauty and to feel beauty and to see an artist transform something that I had always looked at as in a fear perspective into a beautiful perspective where he was able to align the divinity of human form, color and spirituality and space. So that was one moment in time where beauty really healed me. And Eve Klein has continued to live on and through my entire journey and my life in many different forms. I bring beauty into the world by offering the four pillars, the four foundations of Umagaya to my existence, to everyone that I come across and all of my experiences. I offer compassion, unconditional love, gratitude, and humility. And when you have those four elements with inside yourself and can share them with the world, you are offering all your experiences beauty. Because through the eyes of compassion, you see everyone healed and as a being of light. You don't just feel bad for them or feel for them or can imagine yourself there like empathy or sympathy. Compassion goes above that and you can see them as an equal. You can see them as the same thing as you. So when you have compassion on all your experiences, they're beautiful, even the ones that may be darker or more traumatic or more triggery or, you know, left wing, left field, etc. And when you have gratitude for all of your experiences and connections, you are having the understanding of why these things are coming into your existence and into your life, people, places, things, um, and having gratitude for it and all, the good, the bad, the light, the dark, the yin, the yang. And when you can have humility, it's even in success, grand success, small success, all of it is success and having humility in that is being able to see past just the physical existence and physical objects <clears throat> and being able to have humility in the grandeur of life for yourself, for mankind, for nature, for everything. And when you can have unconditional love, that brings the ultimate beauty. So, Every day, whether it's with my students or my clients or my friends or my family, <clears throat> I work on instilling and sharing 
unconditional love, humility, compassion, and gratitude. Yes, I do believe that beauty can save us and save the world and save humanity. And I think that one way of achieving that is by seeing the beauty in every individual and seeing the beauty in nature and seeing the beauty in each other and in ourselves. And if we can get closer to our true self, which is full of light, we are able to then share and spread that light, which is sharing and spreading beauty. Even if at times there is darkness that is pulling us in a different direction and we need a helping hand, that light is there for us. If at times the world is feeling chaotic and full of uncertainty, as maybe it is right now and has it has been, if we can collectively come together to unite and make change and change through the eyes of beauty, but not just through the beauty that is of consumerism or the beauty that is of greed or shiny objects, but the beauty that is where we all get to live empowered, where we all get to live unified. And maybe that means still different circumstances for different people, but we have those opportunities and we unite to offer them to everybody. So I think that beauty can save us by gestures of kindness. For example, you know, when I was living in New York, there would be many times that I would be at a coffee shop or in the grocery store or at a restaurant and I would see somebody behind me and they maybe they were at the same level of financial you know, security as me, or maybe they weren't. But some days I felt like offering them the coffee on me or the meal on me or, you know, their groceries on me just to share and to do acts of kindness to strangers. And by spreading that beauty that I don't even have to know you but I can connect to you, I can relate to you, I can give and receive with you. That is spreading beauty, that is uniting. So it doesn't always have to be a big and extravagant gesture or act of beauty, uh, act of beauty that will save us. It can be little things too. I think of the light shining on my face right now and knowing that it's the sun of our solar system. When I think of beauty, I think of quartz crystals. Quartz crystals, I've always been connected to them since I was a child. Um, you know, quartz crystal is the second most abundant element in our earth. The first being oxygen, the second being quartz. Quartz is made of oxygen and silicon as we are, as the universe is, as the stars are. But what's beautiful about quartz is, is that in the molecules and the atoms within quartz are always perfectly moving in harmony together, always. Whereas other objects in our atmosphere and our universe aren't moving perfectly in harmony. Quartz is always harmoniously moving and exchanging. And also when you cut quartz at a certain speed, it creates electromagnetic energy. And that be and it makes quartz a conductor and a receiver of electromagnetic energy, which is why we're able to even have this virtual video right now. There's a piece of quartz that's conducting that energy in that telephone pole or electric pillar that's directing it and feeding it. I've always loved quartz crystal. And when I think of beauty, I think of quartz. 
I think of flowers. I think of nature. Anything cosmic related, anything related to the cosmos and the universe, the planets, the stars, the moon, the sun, really, I would just want to be outside at night and stare up into the sky or in the day, staring up in the clouds and the sun and how it was bright and how it reflected all of this color. Um, another thing that amazed me as a child was the ocean, the sea, how deep it went and how blue it was um, and how the waves just continued to crash endlessly, endlessly over and over. Um, I was definitely in tune as a child to nature and the magic of life. I, I believed in fairies and unicorns and I still do. Flat out, beauty hides everywhere. Beauty is in every single thing. Um, I fully am committed to believing that. And when I say that, I mean even the 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 shadows of life so you can you can see something or go through something that is really painful and really heavy and really dark and 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 go through that but to be able to go through that and overcome that that's beautiful and then to be able to after overcoming it look back at it and see the beauty in the lesson that that pain or sadness or grief or loss or trauma created for you. So being able to see the beauty in the pain and pulling back out um, and seeing the lessons and seeing the teachings and seeing how those are actually our gifts, the little gifts and treasures of life um, that create who we are. Um, but beauty is everywhere, it's in everything, it's in every society, every culture, every civilization. Beauty is in every belief system, beauty is in every color, every object, every human, every animal. It's in every breath that we take. Um, but if you can see the beauty in the pain and in the lesson, you're hitting a new level of beauty in life. This is an intention and intention is a high vibrational statement that is in the present moment that's in the positive um, and that's concise. That's what an intention is. I have my students work with them. Um, I work with them in intention, living intentionally. The intention is the starting point to everything. So even if you aren't working in, with intentions in this format, um, you really are working with intentions every day. But an intention that I use and that I believe in in every moment that makes me feel beautiful or offers me beauty is I am whole, divine, and perfect at all times. I am whole, divine, and perfect at all times. And that means that even in times of transition and change, you are still whole, perfect, and divine. Even if there's aspects that you wanna let go of or release, you're still whole, perfect, and divine. And even when you're in your ultimate joy and ultimate love and ultimate self expression, you're still whole, perfect and divine. So I am whole, perfect and divine at all times. It's definitely a philosophy that I like to share and stick by. It arouses goosebumps, it arouses shivers, it arouses a sparkly, glittery sensation throat flowing throughout me. It arouses um, a twinkle in my eye or a flutter in my heart. It arouses passion and fire from within. Um, beauty ar arouses ultimate alignment of self and being able to tap into that. Um, beauty arouses um, my senses, my sense of smell, my sense of touch my sense of sight, my sense of hearing, um, also my um, clair essences. So those are the next level of sen senses. 
um, beauty arouses all aspects of of my existence, of my being. Um, and it can be in a painting, it can be in a collage, it can be in a conversation, it could be in a hug, it could be in waking up or going to sleep to my husband playing the piano and practicing his preludes and that feeling of the melodies and the harmonies flowing together um, in unison. Uh, beauty arouses all types of emotions. It can even arouse tears, tears of joy. Um, beauty arouses everything. Um, it's an essence of life.